Hello, good morning. It's Monday again. Um, I am still planning to read The Donut Trap, so that's still on the docket. However, I am going to start buddy reading Idol by Louise O'Neill with my friend Aoife from Pretty Purple Polka Dots, and of course she will be down below. Um, I'm very excited to read this. I have already pre-ordered it on um, book depository because I don't know when it's available in the US. So uh, that's how I did that. But now I have an arc of it. So we are going to buddy read this together. Um, I am sure she's going to finish way before me because that's just how my life goes. But I am starting it right now. Can you hear my baby? Wish me luck. Okay, so so far Idol is about this like motivational speaker a la Rachel Hollis, if you will, who writes this essay about an experience she had in college with her best friend who happened to be a woman. And um, now she is being accused of sexual assault by her ex-best friend, this woman. That is as far as I have gotten, but that is the premise of the book. So I wanted to let you know that um, I'm 7% in. So it has all happened very fast. So we'll see. Okay, hi. I have made it 25% into Idol. Um, I'm liking it a lot. Uh, it is super fast paced. There is a ton happening in the first 25%. And I'm telling you the first chapter, you're thrust into this situation where she has been alleged um, sexual assault by her former best friend. Like it is, it's a lot. I'm really liking it though. I will say um, the comparisons to like Rachel Hollis and like the whole spiritual guru thing that in and of itself is like very apparent to me. I am not like super no knowledgeable about um Rachel Hollis's like um controversies, but just like the spiritual guru thing, it like immediately I was like, This is Rachel Hollis. So um I never know when I'm gonna finish it uh, because craziness, but uh, it is a fast read. So I'm really liking it so far. Hi, it's Tuesday. Happy International Women's Day. Um, gonna be a great day. I am 37% into Idol. I'm loving it. Either I'm flying through it or it's pretty short. I can't tell, but um, I'm absolutely loving it. Some shit has gone down now. Um, it's, it's very, me too, but the woman is being accused, which I think is a super interesting story. Um, so besides Idol, hold on. I am reading Wildcat by Amelia Morris. I got chosen um, to review some books for my local town's website, and this is the first one that I am reviewing. I am two chapters in uh, because I was so tired last night, um, but this is a story about an affluent woman in California and like the first months of motherhood, um, and um, that's all I know, two chapters in. I don't really um, connect with the affluent mothers because like I'm very middle class. So, like, you know, she's like super rich and has a nanny and all this stuff. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Do you hear my baby? Yeah, I'm excited to see how this goes. Um, it doesn't have a ton, it came out mm, like three weeks ago now. It doesn't have a ton of reviews on Goodreads and I haven't, really been like looking at them I just want to see um but it se doesn't seem like super popular um which is fine but I got to like choose which book I want to read and I chose this one because of the motherhood thing it, it uh, stood out to me so um we will I am also reading this besides idol and I'm reading um alphabet project stuff so yeah that's that's what's going on. Okay, so one thing I have noticed about this book that I don't think is realistic is the woman who used to be her friend who like reported this assault. The main character keeps having like contact with her and I think legally that would not be appropriate, but I don't I don't really know. It just seems like it's weird that she keeps like going to her house and like asking her to do all these things about uh, it just that does not seem realistic to me. Otherwise, I'm loving it. That's Rowan. Sorry. I'm. I feel happy that I should be above her. Okay, hi. So I just finished a book for the two. 
a couple books for the alphabet project um but i have a couple books due from the library soon that i don't want to put back on hold and the first one is a is for alibi by sue grafton this was recommended by my best friend erica she loves mystery um like these kind of books and i have never read sue grafton but um I remember it was really really sad when she died and the alphabet books um stopped at y so i am starting a and seeing how i'm feeling about it the audiobook is eight hours so that is super short at three times speed so i can get that done and then go back to the alphabet project so that is what i'm doing okay i'm gonna listen for another hour but i'm already 30 percent in so i want to tell you what it's about basically it's about this investigator and she is investigating a murder of this dude from a couple years ago and um so she is um interviewing like the ex-wife two ex-wives i think and a couple other people and the dialogue is just like so snappy and at one point she was like i married him because of his big cock and i was like what okay <laughs> so um absolutely loving it i will say i don't like this narrator in particular um but the book is so short that it doesn't even matter but it's really like engaging so that's um i don't know how far i'm gonna get in another hour but i'm already pretty far good morning it's wednesday it's so gross out um but let me give a recap i am 60 percent into idol i'm hoping to finish it today because i've been flying through it but never any guarantees about that. Um, I am like 25 pages into Wildcat. Um, so this is the one I have to review for my website. Not my web, you know what I mean. So um, after I finish Idol, I'm gonna pick this up and start reading it for real. I've just been reading like a couple of chapters at night before I fall asleep, but I am so tired at night that it doesn't even matter. So that's the plan for today. I am also still listening to A is for Alibi by Sue Grafton, and I will finish that tonight, definitely. Um, also, let's peep the outfit, hold on. I just got this. This is the first time wearing it and it's a little risky because it's mostly white and I have two children, but um, stay tuned. If you see me change today, no, you didn't. Hi, I finished Idol and I am not okay. Um, I'm going to give it five stars. Uh, it started to lose me a little bit <laughs> um, with Samantha, the main character, but the ending wow 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 i don't know if this is being published in the united states at all um i got this arc from a friend but holy shit holy shit um if it ever comes out in the u.s i highly highly suggest this one it was amazing one of the best books i've read this year wow i'm I don't know how I'm going to read anything else right now, but I'm going to try. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to get through some of Wildcat so I can review this soon. It's not due until like April 1st, I think, but I don't like to procrastinate. Things like that it gives me anxiety, so let's do it. I would like to announce that I did get something on my lover sweatshirt. So it was coffee and hopefully it comes out. It wasn't even the boy's fault. It was my fault. So like... Okay. Update on my lover thing. The stain came out, so. It's been on there all day and I didn't know, but the stain came out, so we are fine. Hello, I finished A is for Alibi. I'm gonna give it four stars, three and a half, but probably four. I think the audiobook was so not not very good. The It was like very like stilted. I, I can't decide if it was the writing from the 80s or if it was the audiobook from 2005 that like didn't work for me. I really like the story. I really like Kinsey. Um, I will be continuing on. I am gonna try the audiobook for B is for whatever it is. Um, even though I'm not like super, super excited about the audiobook but I like the series enough that like I want to do it um so that is it for tonight I am going to vlog a little bit for the alphabet project and then start something else give me a second okay so I am starting seven days in June um because 13 people are waiting for the audiobook holy fucking shit um I've heard really really good things about this one I'm super excited um I heard that the cover is deceiving I don't know anything about this other than it's good so let's go Okay, so I'm 35% into 
70s in June. I'm really liking it. However, I'm going to complain about an audiobook. Um, it's told in two perspectives and there's one narrator and like the other perspective is a dude. So why can't they have two narrators? Um, I don't know. Um, but this starts when, um, this is really cool. So they're both writers and they have a history when they were like teenagers and they meet up again at like a panel, author panel. Um, and so I'm right where they have met up. She has a daughter who I absolutely love. Um, she's like 10 years old and she's like feminist as fuck and I just really like her and she just got in trouble at school and that's where I stopped. So now I'm on the guy's perspective, but it took me a second to figure out that I was on the guy's perspective because it was the same narrator. So that's like my only gripe and that's just because I listened to so many audiobooks that like I could tell which ones are better. So that's it. Um, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll finish it. I'll probably finish it tomorrow. So yeah. Okay, goodbye. Hello, it's Thursday. I am at 97 pages into Wildcat. I'm liking it a lot more um, than yesterday. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna be honest. This is not something that I would have picked up myself, but since I have to review it, I'm gonna read it. Um, it's, uh, I don't really like reading about motherhood or babies, as we know. Um, but it, honestly, this isn't bad. Um, I will say, like, I think I said in my first clip about this, she's very affluent or like pretends to be affluent. And I don't really uh, connect with that either. So um, we're working on it. This is about 300 pages. So I'm a third of the way through. So hoping to get maybe to 150, 200 today. Uh, but we'll see. I don't want to get too personal, but this reminds me of a relationship that has fallen out in my life recently. Basically, this premise is that like two friends have fallen out because of how they choose to raise their children, and this has recently happened to me. Um, and it is quite scary how um, much this is my life, and I don't want to get like too personal, but God, it's weird. Okay, so I made it to page 167 of Wildcat. I'm really liking it. Um, I just have to stop earlier than normal because I'm having some kind of weird anxiety panic attack. So <laughs> I'm not gonna read it anymore. Uh, but maybe I can finish it tomorrow. Probably not. No, I'll probably get to page 225, 250 tomorrow. So that's, that's it. Hi, I forgot I was vlogging. Um, but I finished Seven Days in June by Tia Jones. Um, I... Tia Jones? Tia. I finished Seven Days in June. I'm going to give it five stars. It was a lot heavier and darker than I was anticipating. Um, it is not a fluffy romance like I had anticipated. It is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, I gave it five stars though. Um, it was super good. I just wish I would have known going in that it was um, a lot heavier than I had thought. But otherwise, the writing was really good. I loved all the characters. Um, the audiobook was fine. I got over the one narration, as I always do. But um, yeah, so I am starting something completely different. It's called Shacking Up by Helena Hunting. See this cover? Yeah. So uh, I am starting that. I'll probably read it it's like for 40 minutes and then go to bed. And then... See where we go tomorrow. Hello, it's Friday. I am on page 244 of Wildcat. Um, I haven't decided if I'm just gonna sit down with it tonight and finish it or just wait. I'm busy tomorrow. I don't know. I, obviously, I'm undecided. Um, I'm still liking it. I will say the writing is clunky and it feels like it's going all over the place, but still, like, I like it, especially as I'm not really a new mom anymore, but I guess whatever. I guess as a mom, I'm really liking it. Um, it's like how friendships change after you have kids, which is definitely 100% true. Um, so I'm liking it a lot. Um, I, I have like a star rating in my head, but I want to see how it ends. Um, and then I have to write a review for this for that website. So 
I'm still really liking it and this is like the first physical book I've probably read all year so that's good okay so shacking up is moving extremely slowly um but from what I can gather this guy and girl whose names I don't know um have this run-in where he thinks she's someone else and starts making out with her and now she's getting kicked out of her apartment and he needs someone to pet sit his cats um so she's going to stay there for like a month i think and he's not gonna be there so i don't know why it's called jacking up like i said i'm like 23 percent in it's moving so slowly also i'm listening three times speed like i normally do it feels like one and a half it's just so slow i don't i need four times speed i guess the dude in this book's name is bangcroft Bancroft? Bancroft. I thought it was a nickname. So I looked at the Goodreads description. No. His name is Bancroft Mills. That is all. Hello, it's Saturday. Um, I did read today. I read Wildcat. I finished it. I gave it four stars. This is something I would not normally read, but since I have to review it, um, I did, I read it, and I ended up liking it, not loving it, like, I don't know if I would recommend it to everyone, but you can tell she definitely had COVID in mind when she wrote this, because, I mean, it has to do with being anti-vax, and she's not, but her friend is, so, um, yeah, I liked it, um, so I have to write that review. Um, I'm doing sprints tonight with rye and a couple other people who i will tag down below um but um i'm gonna finish shacking up and i have two graphic novels out from the library that i need to read and give back so that's my plan for tonight okay so i just finished shacking up by helena hunting i'm gonna give it four stars unfortunately there was a little bit of miscommunication which um, also, he was, like, they weren't together, and he was a little possessive, and, uh, um, but overall, I liked it a lot. Those are just, like, little things for me. Um, I think it is a series, so I'll probably continue on with the series. Um, I am going to go get those graphic novels. Okay, bye. Okay, so I am starting Amber and All the Bright by Jason Reynolds. I technically have already read this. I listened to the audiobook and honestly it didn't make sense because it's also a graphic novel and um, so I'm going to read that now. <laughs> um, I did not rate the first time I listened to it, so I am planning to read it this time. So let's go. Okay, so I finished A Burn All the Bright by Jason Reynolds. I'm not kidding, it took me five minutes. Um, there's like three lines a page. Um, so it's really thick, but maybe a hundred words total, maybe. Um, so I'm done with that, hold on. Okay, next from the library is my brother's, my brother's husband. I've had this on my wish list forever. Um, it's very expensive. So getting it for free from the library, support your local library. So I get, I'm sprinting again. I have 38 minutes in the sprint. I'm going to finish it in the sprint and then I'll pick up something else. Stay tuned. God, I forgot I was vlogging again. Um, I already put it away, but I finished my brother's husband five stars. It was so soft. I loved it so much. I already put the second one on hold for my library. So I don't know when I'll get it, but I'm going to read it immediately. Um, I am now starting Neon Gods by Katie Robert. Listen, I am not into mythology at all. I never got into it. Not my thing. However, um, I heard it's smutty. So, like, I'm 18% in, and I, I know what's happening. Like, I get that they're gods or whatever, and stuff, stuff is happening. So, basically, Hades has kidnapped... Persephone um but really she ran away because she's supposed to be getting married to Zeus who has apparently killed two of his other wives that's how far I've gotten in so 
I don't, I'm sprinting probably until midnight, 1230. Who knows? I'm already going to lose an hour of sleep, so I might as well just stay up at this point. Who cares? So let's see how far I get in tonight. Hello, it's Sunday. This is probably the end of the vlog. Um, I'm going to start reading something physically for the alphabet project. So obviously that is a different vlog. So um, last night I got 44% into Neon Gods. I'm liking it. It's not obviously my usual read because it is a little bit of like fantasy but um my only thing is there's like no world building you're just like thrust into this thing which like I was it's jarring for me because I normally read contemporary where it's like you know they go to like Starbucks on the daily so like for me jarring but um, I'm liking it um so this is probably the end of this vlog. I feel like I was going to say something, but I can't remember. Oh, I read seven books. Um, and that's because two of them were, um, one was a manga and one was like a graphic novel in verse. So I don't normally read seven books <laughs> in a week. Um, but, um, it was a really good week. I think the lowest star rating I gave was a four and that was for A is for Alibi and Wildcat. And I still really like those. So, um, another successful reading week. Thanks for watching my video. See you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.